as your full-time job, yeah. working in school, Leo, tell us a little bit more about that. So I got into education, um, I don't know, like years ago. My mom, I, I was, I got married young. I was trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, I always wanted to like make movies and stuff. I was never really, I always wanted to be an artist, but I was not artistic or a writer, you know, so I never had those skills, but I always loved that stuff. So mm -hmm. um, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. And my mom's like, oh, why don't you be a teacher? My mom was a teacher and I'm like, I'm not doing that shit, you know, like whatever. I, I did like, I had all these odds and end jobs for mm -hmm. a while. Like I was driving a car for some, I don't know, weird guy <laughs> yeah. told me to pick up money at his dad's house and pick, <laughs> drop off money in Brooklyn, <laughs> paid me in cash. I drove my little like Toyota Corolla that like had, had like the worst seats in the world. And like he's like, I'm like, why don't we drive your car? And he's like, no, we can't drive my car. It's always in the shop. It was like a whole weird situation, but whatever. Like I had like these weird jobs and um, my wife was very supportive and I was just trying to figure it out. So I went to visit my mom and did some hours there and I kind of liked it. Um, I found that there was creativity that I could do within education. Mm -hmm. um, I went to get my, I finished my degree. I went to get my master's. Um, it wasn't called STEM then. It was like education technology, sort of like slash library science, like whatever. Mm -hmm. And then um, I started working and I really liked it a lot. And then I got my first job. Then I started doing consulting. And about nine years ago, I was doing consulting. I was very big into like STEM education. And I really wanted to start pushing STEM education out. So like I um, essentially, I, I, I just had this very strong visceral feeling of like, like we're just everything we're talking about, like we need to like teach kids to code and engineer. And you know, I didn't really fully understand it yet, but um, this school hired me after doing consulting for that. Mm -hmm. And I built this program up. And it just kind of became my passion. Like, I, I really enjoyed it. I really loved the community that I was in. It was like, I just felt like I was building something. I still do. Like, I would never give it up. Like, you know, there's times when the school's like, oh, why didn't you move on? Like, I got, like, job offers. And I'm like, it's just not, it's not, it's not about the money. Like, I want to be here. You know, I love this. And um, so basically, we, we built, a I built a STEM program, nursery through 12th mm -hmm. grade. And like we start teaching, you know, coding at four years old in my school. That's really cool. And you know, now I've been there for almost nine years, and some of the kids who are graduating going to engineering school that I taught STEM like a long time ago. It's like, holy shit.